Next question from the audience. Uh, you have voiced support for a flat tax system. Uh, are you concerned about the potential increase in inequality resulting from such a system? Well, one of the interesting things is some of the wealthy pay no taxes. Some of the corporations, wealthy corporations, pay no taxes under the current system. Another interesting fact, un over the last five years, income inequality has gotten worse, even though we raise tax rates. So it is something you have to kind of think through as far as how you want to make it better. I'm of the opinion that the way you stimulate the economy and the way you create jobs is by leaving more money in the economy. Now you may say that sounds incredibly simplistic, but it's true. The private economy creates jobs. We have to have a certain amount of government, but we should minimize the size of government because it's not very good at stuff. Why is good? I'll often, I'll often say, I'll often say it's not that government is inherently stupid, although it's a debatable point, <laughs> it's that they don't get the same signals. So for example, we need to have a national defense and it can't be done privately. Same with the judiciary and the legislative branch and roads and education and things like this where the government will be involved. And so I think you can argue that that should occur, but we should keep it and not expand it to all walks of life. Do they, does the government need to sell pizza? You know, does the government need to deliver the mail? Oh, that's really a problem. They probably shouldn't be delivering the mail. They're not very good at that either. But um, <laughs> we should minimize what government does and try to maximize the private sector. And that's, I think, where jobs are created. But to me, though, it's getting beyond the hurdle. I can go to a poor community in the mountains of eastern Kentucky and I'll say, bring me the 10 richest people in your town because I would like to reduce their taxes. And you may be horrified and say, oh, he cares only about rich people. No, we all work for rich people. So I want the people who own the business, the guy who owns the business in Middlesbrough, Kentucky, who employs 100 people, is probably the richest guy in town. How am I going to get him to hire, or, or her, to hire 110 people? Reduce their taxes. So we got to get over this class warfare that rich people are bad people. The top 1% pay 40% of the income tax. There are some exceptions to the rule, and we should fix the exceptions, meaning that if there's some in the top 1% that aren't paying taxes, they should. In some ways, a flat tax accumulates more of those people and you lose less of those people by having less deductions and having a flatter simpler code but i'm also for reducing everyone's taxes not just the middle class everyone's taxes